The question of freedom of will is about real education. It is important to note that asking about clarity of thought also shows us that schools are failing us, that they are in great need of repair. It may just be that standardizing education was a terrible mistake because we each have a unique constellation of curiosities that is required for real education. We can only really learn in our own sequence, at our own pace. We can only learn from where our own personal quest for answers takes us. To learn for real, we need context that is personally meaningful to us. And in human uniqueness, every person has their own quest. Each person must address their own constellation of curiosities. Here, the larger steps are exiting indoctrination and making our way towards knowledge, wisdom, and a culture of greatness. Here, at each step, we converge closer and closer to the heart of the matter becoming more and more equipped to choose in wisdom and in dignity and in such a way that it will make our wiser elder self appreciate their complete journey. At the end of all the steps, the human superculture reveals itself, the culture that not only contains all other cultures, but it encourages them to keep only the good parts. The human superculture is the culture of worldwide greatness, kindled by knowledge, brought to fruition by wisdom, and visions of a peaceful future. It is hard to imagine the superculture without making our way through the initial stages though it is actually just a matter of growing up, growing all the way up until we each become a great being. Growing up for real provides us with functional wisdom. It makes us more intellectually capable at every decision. It makes us more brilliant, more perceptive, more elegant in our inventions, discoveries, and aims. And in the very end, it helps us leave a clear and meaningful legacy that others may wish to begin their life from. What could be more rewarding? The pursuit of knowledge and wisdom, or the search for our intellectual inheritance, is actually an instinct. We will search for wisdom, we will quest for greatness, and we will eventually make our way to the library and let our minds feast on all the narrated books that actually grant us new powers of perception and thought. In our journeys through life, it is the books written by clear-thinking intellectuals that help us the most. Therefore, the question of freedom of will is about making our way up above the common levels of life, so that we may see better. This up is the same up in growing up. The more knowledgeable we are about the world, the better is our decision-making, the more it is synchronized with our elder selves. And yes, Freedom of will, without having inherited much wisdom from great and clear-thinking beings, will always remain a challenge. Now, 
for all the students who have made their way here searching for some ideas for an essay. Heads up! Education that does not front our most powerful and clear-headed books written by authors held in high esteem by all the world's intellectuals will remain ineffective, asking questions of freedom of will that in its own inauthenticity it actually prevented any meaningful answer to. There is a large intellectual inheritance that every student must accept to see more clearly, and it is found not at school, but at the library, in the shape of narrated books. Do not let your teachers sell your minds out for a simple and easy paycheck. Find all the books that enhance your mind and help you avoid all the simple trickery in life. Please take to a better start in life that has wiser, greater, and clearer views of what it really means to grow all the way up. Do not let schools trick you out of real education.